What's going on, America? Let's have this um, conversation why the income inequity gap is growing like it's on steroids. First of all, you got to understand you are where you are because of social conditions. And you have to understand that what your parents did or did not do set the stage for where you are in life economically. So if you've had parents like George W. Bush who were rich, who socialized George W. Bush, even though he wasn't quite that smart, there is no disagreement between Obama being smarter than George W. Bush. No one, agree, no one disagrees with that. But that's only part of the equation. That's only part of how this thing gets down because one of the things you have to understand about income is the socialization of yourself. Whether you're socialized to be rich or you socialized to be poor, that is a very important aspect to where people are. So to help you go ahead and get a little different kind of socialization, go below, get 30 days to 2,500 and start your side business so you can understand a different level of socialization. One of the things that is happening, and this, this was a post on Facebook where I believe this guy won the lottery and they asked him what he was going to do. And he said he was going to spend the money on the hookers and blow. And a lot of people virtually dapped this dude up. And this is to show you where many Americans are. Cause I thought that was the craziest thing. I'm gonna, like you win the lottery and you're gonna spend all this money on hookers and blow. I thought that was really stupid. I already said, if I won the lottery, if I won like half a billion dollars, I would be going out and buying real estate. I would be buying asset producing, asset income producing situations. And just that whole conversation illustrates the id of America, just like Trump could very well win. I don't care what the polls say because America is America. And Trump speaks to the id of America. I don't care if Biden is 20, 30 points ahead of Trump. The only thing that matters is the 90 days before the election and we got a long way to go before we enter into August, September and October. So just buckle up because Trump could get reelected because his supporters are fanatics and that is crazy. But going back to that, the Trump supporters and going back to the id of America, this is one of the reasons that we have to import, import certain talent because going back to the guy with hookers and blow the id of America, we're not about, intellectual pursuits. We're not about skilling up because the reason that this gulf between those who have and those have, it's, it's, it's all about education. <clears throat> it's not about going to college and getting a history degree. It's about getting in a tech school and learning how to code, learning how to produce. Because one of the things that killed the American middle class was the outsourcing of our manufacturing base. And it used to be, you could be dumb as a pile of bricks and you can go work in this factory. And as long as you learn how to turn this wrench, you could work up. And this is when unions were big. So instead of you getting $5 to turn that wrench, the union got you 25 bucks to turn that wrench. And then you met Susie and you and Susie got married and bought a house and had 2.5 kids. And the union guaranteed that for turning that wrench, you would get up to 40 bucks an hour. And then you wouldn't get a 401k, you would get a pension for turning that wrench, which got you your house, you, you had money in retirement, you didn't have to depend on your kids, and all of that changed. Because right now, the reason that this chasm is growing on steroids is because Many Americans don't want to educate themselves in the things that matter. 
And this is a critical component to closing the income gap because you've got to go out and get skills that will change the world. You just can't go to get a basket weaving degree or a lot of athletes would get degrees in physical education. You, you going out and getting these nothing degrees is not going to help you in terms of income. They're not going to do anything for you. You, you would be better off going getting a coding certificate, learning how to run code or an A plus certification because this tells someone like, Hey, he can do X, Y, and Z. Cause the thing is, you got to look at where the disruption is happening and it's happening in tech and many people going back to why we had to import technical talent. A lot of Americans weren't interested in getting math degrees. They weren't interested in getting electrical engineering degrees. They weren't interested in getting physics degrees. If you will look at the education departments and the professors, a lot of the people in these, degree, these highly specialized, highly in need degrees are immigrants because of a lot of Americans don't want to do it. Just don't want to do it. They don't want to stress themselves. They don't want to stretch themselves. They don't want to start a business. They don't want to become an entrepreneur. They, they want something easy. They want something that they can easily do. They want something that doesn't demand a lot of them. And that's not really the way that America used to be because let's go back to World War II. Most of the men were in the military and what America did as a unit, all of the women went to work in the factories to produce the planes, to produce the ships, to produce the bullets. As a nation, we came together and did all of this. Now, <laughs> here's the problem. Once those women got used to working in the factory and making that money, they, they want to let that go. So that, that's a whole nother issue. But collectively as a country, we used to stand together. That is not America anymore. And this is one of the biggest reasons for this income inequity gap, because everybody's trying to do their own thing. Like I got people in the Facebook group who are talking about Forex and stocks. These people are not interested in creating a service or business that serves their fellow man. It's just like rich, the housewives of Atlanta, which is kind of crazy since most of these chicks aren't even housewives. It's all about getting the most for the least that has become the American way. This is why, you know, with the video I did earlier today about Rashard Brooks and so many people are like, Hey, you know, he should be able to fight the cops back. He should be able to get a taser. He should be able to do all this other stuff and there ain't no reason to kill him. And you know, once again, going back to the thoughts of that, which happened during the George Floyd environment, George Floyd was murdered. No doubt about it. And Rashad Brooks came under the cover of George Floyd because so many Americans want to do whatever they want to do with no repercussions. I want to be able to say what I want to say. I want to be racist, but I don't want to lose my job. I want to be stupid, but I don't want to be censored. I want to say what I want to say. I want to be who I want to be, but I don't want no repercussions like children. And in many ways, America is filled with adult children that don't want responsibility. I was talking about marriage was making a comeback and I had all these big toe and red pill men like, nah, man, no. Nah. Men lie, when women lie, but data doesn't lie. More and more people are getting married and more and more people will get married. And many of you big toe and red pill men, you're going to be dealing with a single mother. You're going to marry a single mother and you're going to have a blended family. And you ain't going to ever tell me this because you're going to hide and slurk away because like I did that. Yeah, I did that. But it's all about responsibility. You've got the next three years 
to turn your life around because the income gap is about to get it, it's it's like this right now. It's about to get like that. Because people are not getting in the industries that pay money because they're hard. Let's just keep it a buck. People don't want to do the hard things. And this is why the income gap is growing and getting bigger and wider. And it will continue to grow and will continue to get bigger. It will continue to get wider because people going back to the dude, I won the lottery. I want to spend the money on hookers and blow. This is a common mentality. See, if you're one of the people who are watching this channel and you are trying to make some money and you're trying to build something, you will find yourself in a strange situation because you will find that most of your friends are not like you. Most of your friends don't want to do what you want to do. They think that you're crazy and you will have to go out and get new friends who understand what you're doing because the majority of the people that you knew, that you grew up with, that are part of your life, they're not going to be down with upward mobility. They're not going to be down with starting a business. They're not going to be down with getting into tech. They're not going to be down with creating a business that serves. No, no, no. They're going to think that you're an alien. They're going to think you're weird. They're going to think you're strange because right now in Florida, the coronavirus is escalating in Texas. The coronavirus is escalating. And what are people doing? They out and about living their lives. I think many people have made the conscious calculation. If I get the Rona, I get the Rona. Cause I ain't gonna live my life inside. And that's a personal choice. I can kind of understand that because you can't hide from life. However, it's that same mentality. Why the reason that so many people are poor and with this pandemic caused unemployment, massive unemployment, more on I mean, we could be literally right now sitting at 50 million people unemployed. That's never happened in America before. And many of these people are going to experience long term unemployment, which is going to damage their future earning capacity for decades. So that within itself is going to create a wealth gap because people are not like whenever I do a video talking about how to get money, it always gets less views than when I do a video talking about social issues. Why is that? Because people aren't interested in getting money. People want to be comfortable, but they don't want to work too hard. They don't want to put out too much. So this is one of the reasons I know this when, you know, like whenever I put up a video talking about how to make money and stuff, it just doesn't do well here, but it does well at Savage Finance. And I'm going to give you a little insights on what's happened. There is a hardcore group of people on this channel who want to make money, who want to improve their lives. And those people have moved over to Savage Finance. And because of that genesis, and this is how YouTube works with audience development, because that audience is over there, they're attracting similar viewers because Savage Finance already got 1300 subscribers for the month of June. And this channel's only gotten um, 500, almost 600 because of the things I've been talking about, because of many of the things that I've done. And, you know, it's a more cohesive unit over at Savage Finance. It's just a better audience in terms of the mix matched audience I have over here. I got storage auction people, I got credit people, I got holding company people, I got business people. So over there, we're just talking about money and business and nothing else. So that audience is more cohesive and that channel is going to grow very quickly. Thanks to my haters who were like, well, he started Savage Finance. It was literally six weeks old when you were talking your smickety smack smack. Now, what do you got to say? Oh, that's right. Nothing because the channel is growing and you've been proven wrong. But one of the things that you have to understand is you're going to have to make proper decisions about your life. 
And on Savage Finance, I have a video that many, many people miss, and this is one of the biggest financial mistakes that many people make, is there's no importance on creating a career. You can get a job, which is going to, you're only gonna make so much money with a job. With a career, you will have advancement opportunities. And so many people go out and get a job, and then they, you know, and then the socialism comes in. Well, I'm working 40 hours a week. This should entitle me to a living wage. And I've done a video on that. You are paid upon how easy it is to replace you. You're not paid upon a socialist notion that, well, I work 40 hours, I need to be paid X amount out. It, it, it doesn't work that way because the businesses that can pay the money Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, they're all tech companies. These companies have the money because they're making money to pay the people very well. But Sam's Apple cart doesn't have the money to pay his employees 20, 25, 30 bucks an hour. They don't make that kind of money. And this is one of the biggest issues that we have right now because many people feel that because I work 40 hours, I should get, quote, a living wage. It, it's never going to work like that. Not long as we're a capitalist society, we will have to go to a socialist society for that to work. And then we will see some crazy stuff because look what's happened with the enhanced unemployment. You got people who, who like, I ain't going back to work because I'm making more work sitting at home, not doing anything. This is just a preview of what would happen if we were to UBI, which for many people, as you don't know, is universal basic income. If we were to have universal basic income, a large, you know, let's say 2,500 a month. They came out with 2,500 UBI, we would have a significant portion of the population that would opt out of work. 2,500 bucks a month, I can pay my bills, I'm good. And they would just be partying and playing video games, doing the, living the La Vida Loca. They wouldn't work, they wouldn't have to. And I keep telling people, because many people will disagree, like, hey, we need, universal basic income, and even the people who are pushing for universal basic income already know that a significant part of the population will opt out of work. They will opt out of being productive. They will be smoking weed and having sex all day. This is what a large percent of the population would do because going back to the guy who won the lottery, hookers and blow. This is the highest ambition that so many people have is to have fun. It's to be comfortable. It is to live a life of leisure. And let me tell you, if they mess around and start some universal basic income of $2,500 per month, you think people are rioting over George Floyd and Rayshard Brooks? You ain't seen nothing now. You will see cities burn. If they started giving people $2,500 per month and then tried to take it back, you would see cities on fire because luxuries once tasted become necessities. People like, uh-uh, you cannot take my universal basic income. But this is one of the, the biggest reasons that we have the wealth gap is we have an ambition gap. We just don't have a lot of people who want to step up to the plate and do more. That's where it starts because I'm the product of a single mother. I ain't supposed to be doing what I'm doing, but see, I made a choice. I decided that I was gonna make some money. I decided that I was going, because essentially I've transcended lower middle class, low class, poor to lower, low, let's see, poor to middle class to upper middle class to rich. So that's poor. I've transcended five, six levels because I made a decision and I started doing the hard things like 
creating a business, creating products and services. Uh, for those of you who are at Savage Finance, there's going to be a whole suite of products that are coming toward the end of the month. And uh, there's the first one is going to be ultimate money. And I'm just going to break down all of the specific questions I've been getting because you got to manage your money. That's another reason that we have the wealth gap. You know, part of this is social because of the hollowing out of the manufacturing class, because manufacturing has been reduced by 20 per 25 percent. And this has killed the pathway, because like I said, you could be you could be used to be you could be dumb as bricks and you get you a factory job and do the unions and every other thing, literally be making 25, 30 bucks an hour for turning a wrench. That's gone. And now you have no unions. You have no union protection. You got to go out there and make it happen. You got to do the work. And a lot of people are not used to work because when I was growing up, it was a totally different time in America. There was popular mechanics. There was there was all of these. There's Reader's Digest. There was these periodicals that prompted you to do something to create something, to be gainfully employed. And right now, a lot of people on that hookers and blow, hookers and blow, hookers and blow. I just want to feel pleasure. I don't want to feel no pain. I don't want to work hard. I don't want to sweat. I don't want to flex my mental muscles. What are you talking about, Glendon Cameron? I just want my hookers and blow. And here's the here's the thing like let's do this exercise let's talk about you if you won the lottery what would you do you could put it in the comments if you won the lottery what what would you do be honest would you get hookers and blow or would you get yourself some income producing property or assets because the end of america which is important like i said unless joe biden gets really lucky trump's going to win again you know, we've been we've seen this show again. We've seen this show. Hillary was supposed to win and all this other stuff. And you, you, you got to understand, Trump speaks to the id of America. Like no one who's ever run for office has before. He speaks to the id. Recently, he would had a campaign and he was talking about they're taking down our monuments. Because he knows that a lot of America is racist. He understands, but this, this conversation is framed as they're taking down our monuments, they're taking down our heritage. Anyone that knows the history of many of these monuments, they weren't put up right after the Civil War. They were put up decades after the Civil War. Most of these monuments were put up decades 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 years after the Civil War. The sons of the Confederate, the daughters of the Confederate, all these groups came long after the Civil War. And also, when does the losers get pride? The South lost the war. Why, why are there cookies and cupcakes and punch and cake for the losers? So understand that as long as you are a typical American with no greater ambition than hookers and blow, um, your income going to be what your income going to be unless you are, uh, you know, someone who partners up with a very ambitious partner. There are many hobosexuals out there who are hooking up with productive and gainful and ambitious women. Never in my life have I seen this. And this is something a friend and I used to talk about all the time was the number of men who were living with women. Never have I seen anything like this before in America. And that number has grown right now. You're going to have a dude who's going to be six two. He's going to have a six pack and he's going to have limited intellectual capacity. And he's going to be with a wait for it. A fat chick, he gonna have a fat girlfriend, a fat wife, because she makes money. This is the id of America. 
Men used to be socialized to go out and kill dragons. Not so much anymore. Men are being socialized to be wusses, to be punks, to be little pussies. That's why men are being socialized. And the women are like, hey, I don't really like this new type of man. I really don't. But, you know, everyone gets lonely. So this fat chick is going to take this six foot two dude with a six pack and she going to have him let him slide his slippers under her bed because she lonely. It, you know, this this is what's happening. It's all about ambition. It is all about the id of America. And we right now have such a lower level, lower expectations and everyone is seeking comfort. This is why these stimulus check videos are doing so well. I mean, I started doing research into it and you know there's stimulus check update Facebook groups with 200, 300,000 members. This only started three months ago. So many people are looking for socialism because they don't want to take care of themselves. And this is going to happen, man. This, this, this is going to happen. It's going to happen. And it's going to be crazy. So the America that we exist in today is going to be radically different 10 years from now. Maybe it'll be better. Maybe it'll be worse. But the pathway that we're on is going to be way different. It's going to change a lot. And get ready for it. So that's all I got for you guys. Be sure to check out this next video.